Hey, what's up, everybody? Donnie here, and you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77. When we come back, we've got the Zuhava. This is a little micro drone right after this. <laughs> Come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Hey, welcome back everybody, Donnie here. So glad for you guys to join me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, today I have the Zuhafa. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I apologize uh, to the company on Amazon if I'm not, but uh, I do thank you guys for sending this out. Uh, this one is the Z2HC. It's a little micro drone that fits into its own controller, so you can either charge it from the controller or charge it from its actual USB um, charger, which is in here. So we'll open this in a second. Uh, this one actually has uh, Wi-Fi FPV on this one. So it has 360 flips, um, it's 2.4 gigahertz, four channel, and six axis stabilization. So pretty cool little uh, drone. It's got altitude hold and uh, has some auto little return on there. We'll have to check that out if it works. Uh, but uh, we'll get into it. Let me open the box real quick and check it out. See if I could do a quick unboxing. We've got the manual and it's got the it's got the little QR codes in the back so that way you can go and scan those and get the right app on iOS or on Android. So and let's see. We've got the phone holder. We have four spare props, a screwdriver, and prop guards. So that's pretty cool. It came with prop guards. And then you got the USB charger. So it's got that small little, uh, must have the battery uh, built in because it looks like it's a JST uh, 1.25 connector. So it's got that little small one like they use on some of the whoops you see when they got those stick batteries. Pretty well packaged, so... It's a nice packaging they've done. Let me get that out of the way here. All right, so here we go. Here's the controller, drone inside. Uh, it takes, I already put batteries in here, two AAAs on each side. So you got one there and one here. So it does not come with the batteries, so you have to put the batteries in yourself. This little holder. It's pretty easy. You can just unscrew this, loosen that, and this will turn real easy. Tighten it back up. Same with uh, adjusting this. So then you can just tighten it back up to however big your phone is to grip it. This just slides on the back. Pretty simple. And then it snaps right in. You can put a screw in there. It comes with a screw, so it won't come out. But trust me, this won't come out. It took me a hard, a uh, long time to try to pop this back out when I first was testing it and looking to make sure all the parts were here when I first got it. So uh, this cover opens up. Here's the little drone, which makes it nice. I like this little drone. Always like these small ones. They're fun for traveling. You could take them anywhere. So if you're stuck in a motel or something, you want to fly around, pop this guy out and go fly around. But you can see it's got that little tiny camera right there. I think it's 720p. I'm not quite too sure. I haven't really looked over a manual, so I apologize for that. But you can charge it from your controller as long as your batteries are nice, fresh batteries. But I recommend not doing that. I mean, I could see if you're on the go and you forgot your charger, but I wouldn't do that because you're going to be wasting a lot of your controller batteries to try to charge this thing. So, But it does give you the opportunity to do that, which makes it nice too, so in case you forget the USB charger. So it does look like the battery is built inside. So I think you can take this apart and pull it out of there, but, you know, to me, these are kind of just throwaway drones. You're going to fly them for, you know, so long, and then that's probably about it. But if someone wants to really dig in there, you can probably change out that little LiPo battery. Looks like it's only like a maybe a 250 or a 350 in there. So you're looking at about five minutes worth of flight here. Wi-Fi antenna sticking out, which is nice, so you can get a better signal. The controller here, you got on and off button. That way you can link the drone. Uh, this is this is uh, so you can adjust it for the flight. I believe this is for forward. This one's for backward tilt, and then these ones for 
for the side tilt so you could trim them. So um, these buttons here, I'll have to look really quick because I have not flown this, guys. So I just made sure all the parts were here. It has a uh, circle flying, a uh, rapid rotating circle fly. It says, or excuse me, yeah, rapid, rapid rotating circle fly button. So that would be this one. So it must go in, uh, it must circle and, and spin around. We'll have to check that out. Then you got the speed rate is right here. It's got three rates of speed. And let's see, one key takeoff, one key land right here. All right. And then uh, you got one key return is this button. And this button here should be headless mode. And that should be it. And then you got your power button. Turn it on and turn it off. All right, guys. Feels pretty good. I guess if you're a pincher, you can, you can still use it. The sticks are still a little bit long. Probably not quite as long as you'd like them for someone that pinches. I'm a guy that uses my thumb or I could pinch. I practice both ways just in case. So... That's just the way I do. That's just the way I do it. Same with I practice in mode one and two, so I can fly mode one or two just in case, because I've gotten a controller before by accident and they sent it in uh, in mode one, I believe, and I was stuck flying in opposite controls like they do in Japan and stuff. So I cracked the case. It didn't come cracked like that. That was my fault. I dropped it. So it is durable, but not super durable. You can see I cracked the case. So. All right, guys, that's enough of that. I believe I covered that. Um, and the accessories, one thing I did like about the company is they actually sent a little tool to remove the props. That's always nice because I'll probably use that for some of my other little uh, whoop drones too because they didn't come with them, but this one did. That's awesome. All right, guys, let's go and take this thing for a flight. I'm going to go ahead and turn on. Really, you know what this is, guys, is this is actually a heliway. So uh, the app is, uh, I downloaded was the Heliway app. Um, I'm not too sure what the QR code was. You can scan that. That might be Wi-Fi UFO as well, but I used the Heliway. Uh, let's see if I can find it on my on my phone here. Okay, so it was the, wait, let me move that. All right, it was the Heliway FPV. So if you guys could see that, that's what I downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto that. There we go, Heliway. So let's turn this on. All right, you got red lights in the front, blue lights in the back. Let me go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi. Turn on the Wi-Fi, it's Wi-Fi UFO. Connect. Connect, all right. It says unavailable, but that it'll come on. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and turn on the controller. I guess that would help too. There we go. So you can see it has got this, it's picking up the red light from from the little uh, lights on the quad. So the image will be red. I don't know how well it would be outside, but at least for inside, it's a red image. You'll want to go and press record so you can start recording. So right now it's recording, and I'll go ahead and take off for a flight. All right, I'm going to... There's rate three. I'm gonna to go to rate three, and I'm going to adjust. I'm gonna to have to adjust the settings for the trim in a second here. So let me go ahead and uh, see if I can remember to take off. I think you take these out. There we go. Fires it up. Okay, it wants to pull to the left. So I'm gonna to have to trim this thing, guys, right here. There we go. Now it wants to go backwards. Let's go towards the front. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Let me go to the left a little bit. All right, not bad. There we go. Pretty fast little quad. That flies pretty good, guys. And there's a camera image, if you can see that. Like I said, it's going to be red because of the light. Daytime, it may be a little bit different. Right now, it's evening time, so you're not going to see anything outside. But the quick little quad. Very stable. Once you get it tuned in, it's pretty stable. I'll have to put it forward a little bit. Forward. Let me bring it back here for a minute. 
All right, let me go forward a little bit to the right. There's forward. Okay, so it's pretty stable. Still trying to come back a little bit. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty stable right there. It's going to the right a little bit, but you're never going to get it perfect, but pretty close. Let's see what this button does. I wanted to see what that did. I guess it's not going to do much, I guess. See if I can see myself here. Here I am. What's up, guys? All right, let's see. Oh, it's a spin. That's funny. Let's see where I'm at. Okay. I had to remember blue's back, red is forward. Okay. So this button does some crazy little function here. There we go. Does some crazy little spins. And then as soon as you touch it, it stops. Just remember where where you're facing. Blue is back, red is forward. So let me try that again. Let me bring it closer to me here. <laughs> Some goofy little deal here. Until you press stop, then it'll stop. Blue's facing me. I'm going to go ahead and stop the record. Alright guys, not too bad. Let's see what uh, headless mode does real quick here. Headless mode, this button here. Let's see if it... Well, I didn't get it. Let me try this one here. Now I tried holding it. Let's see. Nope, it's not going to do headless mode. That's okay. I really don't need headless mode. You're not going to go too far to need headless mode to bring it back. So I'm going to have to trim it again. It's trying to get a little crazy here. Go to the right a little bit here. There we go. The only bummer is i got to keep trimming it quite a bit, but it could be because I was doing that cyclone deal. So, um, Okay, that's return to home. you got to press the button to stop it. Okay, I got it now. All right. These were the trims I was hitting by accident. So that's return to home. Right there. Too much. Okay, so return to home. Return to home will come back to you, but when it comes back to you, let's see if I can calibrate it. There we go. It's calibrated. Let me take it back up. Okay, every time I got to take it back up again, you have to trim it to the right. So I don't know why it's doing that. Every time I go to take off, then I got to trim it forward a bunch. So that's kind of a bummer. So every time you want to take off or you crash, you got to re-trim it again if you go and uh, recalibrate it or do anything like that. And put forward a little bit here to the right some more. There we go. All right. All right. Let's try this again. There's headless mode. Okay. Headless mode. Let's see. Let me try to... Oh. <laughs> headless mode gets a little funky. I was pulling back on the sticks and it went backwards that way. So it's not supposed to do that. Let me shut headless mode off. Alright, let me shut headless mode back off. It's not going to start up. Let me try calibrating it. Yep. Nope, that's it. My time's up. Alright. Lights already went out, guys, so I'll have to look at the minutes. I think it's only about a five minute flight or less. So uh, the functions work for return home, but you have to make sure the blue lights is the back. You have to make sure that's facing towards you. It'll come straight back, but make sure you shut it off right here before it gets to you, or it won't it won't stop if you hit the uh, the levers. So um, look like uh, doing the the uh, headless mode. I tried to press back on it, and it's it was going the opposite way. So headless mode didn't work that well. So. Alright guys, other than that, it's just a fun little flyer, little toy here, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks uh, so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, conclusion's coming up next. Alright guys, hey, this is Conclusion. I thank you for sticking around, watching the flight, watching the unboxing. Uh, I thank the company, and I hope I'm saying this right, Zuhafa, uh, for sending this out. It's a cool little quadcopter. The only con I had was that it pulls to the left really bad when you first started out. But once you trim it out, it's a good little flyer. Everything seems to work pretty good. The camera's going to always be 
it's Wi-Fi. It's always going to have that hesitation. It's just a little gimmick for fun, you know, mostly for kids to kind of record stuff and laugh and have a good time. Even for the adults, I take these with me whenever I go traveling because it's fun when I'm, you know, somewhere and I could just bring one of these little drones out and just fly it around. So I actually enjoy these ones. These are one of my favorite type of drones when you can have them uh, travel size. So, all right, guys, one of these times when it's not windy, I'll have to try it outside. Maybe see how well it works outside too. So maybe have a, another video sometime in the future for that. So, all right, guys, like always, God bless, cheers, and happy flying.